Welcome to session one of our first LEGO League Challenge season. Today, we are going to be meeting our team members, coming up with a name for our team, getting an introduction to our engineering robot and the engineering design process. We are also going to be building our mission models for this year's robot game. And finally, we are going to talk about our innovation project and see how those mission models that all relate to archaeology in some way could spark our imagination to create a project that will improve the field of archaeology. Let's get started by meeting one another. My name is Preston with Spratronics Learning Lab in Greenville, South Carolina. I'd love to know a little bit more about you. Get to know your teammates. Share some things. What's a recent trip that you've been on? What's a hobby or something you enjoy doing? Talk to your team about things that you might collect. You could also talk about video games that you like to play, your favorite subjects, or what you're excited about for First LEGO League. To be successful with today's lesson, you are going to need to have your robotics mission models. I have mine sorted out in bags, ready to go. These are the mission models that were shipped to us by FIRST. If you watched our Session Zero video, you know that a great coach is going to have these organized before their students ever arrive for that very first session. You're going to need access to a computer or a tablet or the internet. We are going to be getting on firstlegoleague.org and going to resources today where we can get our mission model directions so that we know how to build our models. Another thing that we need to have is our engineering notebook. This notebook is going to be crucial for taking notes and for getting prepared throughout the season. This is how we are going to track everything that we do as we go through this season. Another book that you want to have is your robot game rule book. If you don't have these available, we have a link under this video that has access to all of these in PDF form. You can print them out for yourself if you don't have one. So you have these supplies available to you right here with this video. Once you've gotten to know your team, it's time to come up with a team name. Here in Greenville, South Carolina, one of the high schools in town, they call their team the Green Villains, which I think is a great name, a really cool robotics group, and so they're part of the first robotics challenges, which is late, later high school, where you're building with microcontrollers and components. The Lego part is not part of that. But write down the team name that you're coming up with. For this video series, I'm going to call us the Spratronics Remotes, because oftentimes this is a group that is watching this remotely not in the lab with us. We do have in-person robotics teams here at the lab and they have come up with their own team names. And for these videos, I'm gonna call our team the Spratronics Remotes. Three major things I want you to know about today. I want you to know about our mission models. These are the models that play a role in our robot game and are going to be what we design our robot around. The whole robot game is all about scoring points on that mission map, and we design our robot to be able to successfully complete these missions. The mission models are the models that we build that are placed on the field, and they're designed to represent real-world concepts or real-world challenges, or be similar to something that an archaeologist or a research team may see out in the field. We're also going to talk about our project Sparks, and these are at the beginning of your engineering notebook. I believe on page six, Yep. that provide guidance on different parts of our projects. These are gonna give us inspiration to make our innovation project, and it's going to also tie our mission models to the real world. And finally, the innovation project. This 12-week session, you're gonna be identifying a problem and developing a solution to solve it. When we talk the innovation project, that is us coming up with a problem that archaeologists or researchers face and designing a solution for that. The biggest thing that you'll need to do with your innovation project is be able to discuss it with a judge. It's time for our first big task. Let's build the robot game mission models. 
Then we're going to place these mission models on the challenge mat. And the way you're going to build those is you're going to be getting a kit and a mission model number. And so I see that this one has bag six. We're going to go on to the firstlegoleague.org. You have bag seven. You also have some extra pieces that were not labeled that need to go with it. And your directions will tell you which pieces you need and what bags are used to build. Click on building instructions. And then I have mission model building instructions. And they're all linked here. You can do them in English, nonverbal, French, or get text-based directions. If you want to know exactly what you're building, you can take a look at the robot game rulebook. And I can see that this mission model, mission number one, surface brushing. So what I'm building is a special tool to clean and uncover buried artifacts without damaging them. Brush away sediment to uncover a piece of this civilization's past. This is a dig site with a brush hanging out of it. We're gonna be building this to place on our mat and then later on in this session or in these weeks, we are going to develop a robot that can solve this mission successfully. Now that you've built your mission models, it's time to work with your team to place them on the mission mat. We're gonna be using the robot game rulebook to help us find exactly where the mission models go. And we're gonna be doing this as we move through the project Sparks. Here's how we'll do this. There are one, two, three, four, five project Sparks. We're gonna go through each of those and find that location on the map. We're gonna name some things that we notice in that area of the map. And then we're gonna use our robot game rulebook to determine which mission models go on that section of the map. It's so important that your team built these mission models exactly like the directions on the first LEGO League website direct you to build them. If you build these mission models incorrectly or they don't work as intended, you're not gonna be as successful as you could be with a mission model that's gonna match what's in the actual competition. So be sure to test out your mission models, make sure they move similar to how the robot game rulebook says they should move and how the video from First Lego League shows that the robot pieces move. Let's move over to our mission map, read the project sparks, and then place our mission models on the board. This is a great time for you to be talking with your team about ideas for an innovation project, and it may be even ideas on what your favorite mission might be or one you would like to learn more about. Our first step of the archeological process, identifying a site. During an excursion, the team discovers an ancient map leading them to believe more artifacts will be found nearby. How will the archeology span team identify where additional artifacts are located? I see a small picture Work with your team to try to find that location on our mission map. Have you found it? I see a couple of houses. I see stone or rocks and what look like trails or paths. Now that you've found the location on the map, what do you see around it that looks like a mission model might go here? Now, check your robot game rulebook or watch the robot game rule video on YouTube to decide what mission models go near this area. Our next project spark on survey and map. Members of the excavation team want to explore nearby caves and account for changes in the landscape that occurred over time. How can the team use technology to create a modern day map of the cave and full site? Talk with your team. How could they map this area? What modern day technology will help with that? Can you find the caves on your mission map? Now, time to place some mission models around this area of the map. We're in the next step of the archeological process, excavate. Once excavation begins, the team starts to find artifacts related to everyday life. Some are sturdy and large, like millstones used to process grains, and others are smaller, like coins and beads. 
What tools can the team use to get these items out of the ground without damaging or losing any of them? Talk with your team on how to answer that question while you find this location on the map and then look around and see what mission models can be placed here. Our next step of the archeological process is to reconstruct and restore. Let's move to a new part of our map. The archeologists have evidence that the people who once lived here were very connected to water and all it would provide. Parts of sculptures found near a forum depict animals from the water, but locating all the pieces and restoring them will be a significant challenge. How can the team improve the restoration process? If you were having to restore something ancient and fragile or incomplete, how could you do that? What are some tools you might use or what are some ways you can improve the restoration process? Talk with your team to try to answer that question or come up with ideas, as well as find this location on your mat and then place your mission models nearby. Finally, we're at the share and publish stage of the archeological process. An artifact was discovered that has left everyone on the team wanting to know more, but not every mystery can be solved by one team on its own. How can archeologists work with teams in other careers to solve the mysteries together? Discuss this question with your teammates while you find the rest of the mission models and place them on your board. If you came up with any neat ideas or something you want to research further, be sure to make a note of them in your engineering notebook. This is a 12-week process of designing a robot to score high on the robot game by coming up with a new robot design to improve every week and through solving our innovation project or creating an innovation project that's going to be shared with judges and others that explains how you could improve some part of this archeological process. Be sure to write down some notes or some ideas for you and your team to discuss later or for you to research further. How do these mission models connect to the unearthed theme? When we went through all those project sparks, what mission models do you see that matched up with what was on the map? And how does it relate to archeology? span You're not having to develop a true like laser system that can scan the ground. What you would do instead is come up with a concept that's backed in real science and a conceptual idea that can solve one of these archeologist projects. We see far too many teams that get caught up in thinking that they have to design the real actual tool that's going to go to market. We're coming up with concepts that are based in science and based in research that could be implemented to solve one of these project spark problems or a problem that you see out there while you're going through this season. Your innovation project might change over the course of these 12 weeks. We are just getting started so that you start to have an understanding of what that innovation project is and how it can be solved.